all of Pisces Sun, Cancer Moons. Welcome to your 2021 Sun Moon reading. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. And that being said, go check out my 2020 Sun Moon readings that are on my playlist and see if they are ringing true for you this year. Um, I'm doing these in the order of requests in the comments. Be sure to post yours up. Also check out my playlist for what your ideal career is based on your midheaven sign and what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign. Ask me a question on Instago. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, the first portion of this reading, I'll be laying out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2021. And the second portion will be the venue link below where I will pull clarifiers and we will have a deeper interpretation of the cards. So let's get to the traits of your sun moon combination. Pisces sun, cancer moon, you, you, <laughs> your empathy, sensitivity, and intuition keeps you, gives you, let me start that over. Your empathy, your sensitivity, and your intuition gives you deep psychic insight into people and situations. Sorry, it's late at night. Because of your deep-seated insecurities, you tend to let how other people talk of you affect you. All you want is for others to recognize that what you do is important and accept you for who you are. You despise any cruelty of any sort towards any beings and it deeply hurts you when that happens. Role playing is your escape from being hurt. In relationships, you're emotionally deep and difficult to understand. You would never share your feelings unless you know you can fully trust somebody. You cherish a loving family and a secure home and will put loved ones needs before your own. Your ideal partner is someone who builds you up and never criticizes you. In career, you're quick learners but need to associate with successful people to turn your visions to reality. And what visions they are as you have incredible imagination, creativity, and artistic abilities. Any career that puts you in service of others to help them is also another option. You have great people skills since you are compassionate and patient, but can also sense what lies beneath their surface. So let's see what's going on for your 2021. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine God's Universe, can you please spread the truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces, Sun, Cancer, Moons for the year 2021. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? Any messages you have for Pisces, Sun, Cancer, Moons for their greater good will be greatly appreciated and we thank you. Pisces, Sun, Cancer, Moons, what do you see? What do they need to know? Energies for the year 2021. Alrighty. What do you see for January, February, March? We have the Nine of Wands in the upright. What do you see for April, May, June? Pisces, Sun, Cancer, Moons. We have the Two of Swords in the upright. July, August, September. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. And October, November, December. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Alrighty. So my Pisces, Sun, Cancer, Peoples. We start off with the Nine of Wands. It seems like you're coming into the year very guarded. Um, Go figure that. <laughs> very guarded with your feelings. You're not about to let anybody in. You're not very trusting. You're being very wary of people's motives and how they're coming, kind of coming at you, um, putting up a little bit of a fort. Seems like you've been through a lot. You've had a very, uh, you know, a lot of struggles that are kind of leading you to behave in this way. So you have just cause to be obviously uh, very careful of who approaches you, what their intentions are and what's going on So with them. So you are being very guarded. Two of Swords we have for April, May, June. This is where you, you're really not, there's decision and you really don't know which way to go on it. Now, um, it could be in regards to this, whoever approached you and now you're just kind of wondering, well, I don't really, I don't really know very much about this person. I don't know which way to kind of, you know, should I be with them? Should I not? This doesn't necessarily even have to be um, just in a romantic relationship. It could be in any regard. And you're just kind of sitting here and using your other senses, like your sixth sense, for instance, um, to gather more information and kind of figure things out. But the Two of Swords shows you not really kind of making a decision, just kind of staying put. It's a card of stalemate. Um, 
very calm card, like I said, and just kind of waiting for um, how things are gonna flesh out or other things you're gonna learn before you go ahead and kind of nail yourself down to a decision. So July, August, and September, I see you kind of putting swords down in regards to somebody. So there's forgiveness, there's forgetting, you're open to negotiation. It could have been this person you're very guarded about in the beginning of the year and you move forward on a decision and decide to say, okay, let's go over past, let's get over our past resentments. Let's kind of, you know, work things out. I don't want it to be like this anymore where we're fighting and there's conflict and there's sharp words that are being exchanged. So I think you work on it with this person to not fight with them and kind of move past it. And the Ten of Pentacles shows you in October, November, December, actually, I feel like working with this person for long term. So whether it's it's a long term committed relationship or um, building a business with this person or, you know, collaborating with them at work for, um, you know, it, it, whatever it is the ten of pentacles is being very mature very long term very committed to something and i feel like it's this person that was problematic um during the year so i do see you kind of doing that in that period of time so if this resonates consider a personal reading and send me an email and we can set that up otherwise make sure you click on the vimeo link below it will i will be pulling these clarifiers on these cards um and we will be looking at them deeper it, check out my playlist. I'm sorry, like I said, it's late at night. I'm being a little bit. Check out my playlist for your 2020 sun moon readings. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your partner's sun? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, I'll see you in Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.